you're probably tracking ovulation with strips or maybe even your temperature. But if you're ignoring your cervical mucus, you're missing one of the biggest fertility signs your body gives you. And honestly, this is why I see many of you actually doing it wrong because either you don't check it at all or you completely misunderstand what it's supposed to actually look like. Cervical mucus isn't just a side note, it's a reflection of your estrogen levels, your cycle health, and it literally determines whether sperm can survive long enough to meet your egg. And if you want to know how it looks like, go out and check another video of mine. Now, the important thing is, yes, you can ovulate without fertile mucus, but without it, sperm usually dies within hours. Now, fertile cervical mucus, that's the clear, stretchy, egg white kind that creates the channel sperm need to swim. It protects them from the vaginal environment. That's actually not really that friendly for sperm. But outside of that fertile window, your vagina doesn't like sperm very much. It's really funny, actually. In the fertile window, with that cervical mucus that's fertile, it nourishes sperm so they can live up to five days waiting for the egg. Without that mucus, even perfect ovulation timing doesn't work because the sperm can't survive the journey. If you're not seeing that fertile mucus or it only lasts for a few hours instead of a couple of days, that's a red flag that estrogen isn't peaking properly or that something else like stress, thyroid issues, dehydration or inflammation is interfering with mucus quality. And funny enough is that dehydration alone can make your mucus thick and sticky. So freaking say, drink enough. Now, we also have allergy medications that can dry out all mucus, including your cervical mucus. And inflammatory foods like gluten and dairy can worsen mucus quality too because they trigger systemic inflammation. So what do you do? First, hydrate, of course hydrate properly because guess what you need fats and calories to support estrogen production and third cut inflammatory foods during your fertile window and finally consider targeted support like evening primrose oil for example but only if it's right for you if you don't know what to do go inside my fertility circle and i teach you how to actually read your cervical mucus what normal looks like and what to do if it's not right because if you're not seeing that fertile cervical mucus, that's often just one piece of the puzzle. And we got to look a little bit deeper. And the fertility circle gives you the full roadmap. So what are you still waiting for? Go and join now.